so the first question is on your screen and your time starts now try to answer with us so that you also get benefited from uh, this particular series so in the question is ornithophily refers to what these are the four options student remember this word ornitho ornitho stand for ornitho stand for birds okay so whenever you see the word ornitho it is something related to birds you must have heard this term ornithology that is study of birds here they are saying ornithophily so pollination through winds pollination through birds so here you can see it is pollination through birds should be the correct answer let's see the answer yes it's option 2 so those who have given option 2 as their answer well and good okay let's see the next question and your time starts now a very simple one let us see who can give the answer a very very simple one student which of the following is not a blood group so these are the four option as you know op blood group c is not a blood group okay so as you know whenever you see blood group related question you must have these thing in your mind first blood group was uh, discovered or you can say invented by a scientist called karl landsteiner he was credited uh, with finding this blood group and uh, you should know universal donor is universal donor is blood group o and universal recipient recipient is ab okay so these are some additional information you should have okay let's see the next question and your time start now excess glucose in human body is stored as dash in the liver okay so before answering this question let us see what do you mean by excess glucose excess glucose refer to a condition called diabetes okay and as you know diabetes is due to what lack of production of a hormone called insulin okay and uh, where this insulin is released in body it is released in pancreas okay so this is some interlink information that we are gi giving you where in pancreas there are some beta cells they are producing insulin which control the glucose level in the human body if there is excess glucose in human body it is stored as a glycogen in the liver okay so option a is the right answer so those student who have given option a well and good they are doing great okay let's see the next question quickly one horn rhinosaurus is conserved species at which of these national park and your time starts now student uh, you should know that one horn rhinosaurus is mainly conserved at kaziranga national park it is in assam whereas if you go to jim corbett you will find tigers okay they are generally tiger reserves so for this question option 3 is the right answer okay quickly moving to the next question and your time starts now a very simple one the basic concept in food processing method to prevent food spoilage are reduction of ph only lowering the temperature removal of water moisture only all of this so whenever uh, there is reduction in ph uh, basically you are reducing its acidity so you are basically uh, preventing the food spoilage and lowering the food temperature as you know if you put something in your refrigerator it will not spoil easily so lowering is also one uh, basic concept of preventing this spo food spoilage removal of water moisture you must have seen uh, generally pickles and uh, spices are generally are uh, put in the sun so that water moisture is removed so that they can uh, have a lot of long life duration okay so for this question option 4 is the valid one okay so option 4 is the right answer quickly moving to the next question and your time starts now a very good question which of the following is used as bio indicator of air pollution okay bio indicators are the species uh, which indicates 
uh, with its feature that there is something wrong with the air okay student remember this biological indicator lichens is one of the important bio indicators of air pollution it can detect the high level of some gases like nitrogen okay so option 4 is the right answer for this question let's see the next question a very simple one ascorbic acid is also known as what ascorbic acid yes those students who have given option c vitamin c they are right ascorbic acid is known as vitamin c if you consider vitamin a it is called retinol okay vitamin d is calciferol calciferol whereas vitamin d there are multiple name so if you go with vitamin b1 thymine important one okay if you go with vitamin b2 it is called riboflavin okay there are eight vitamin b complex okay so those name you can remember okay so option c is the right answer let's see the next question a very simple one all of you know that the main active constitution of tea and coffee is what caffeine okay so caffeine is a component uh, which makes you alert as well as you you can have a uh, uh, very good time in doing that okay so option four is the right answer so caffeine is the right answer for this question let's see the next question it is very important question student i am putting as important proteins are assembled of amino acid okay student remember the basic unit of proteins are called amino acid and they are assembled uh, by certain numbers of amino acid so they are asking how many amino acid are joined to make a protein student uh, this is static gk so remember it is approximately 20 to 23 amino acid uh, when joined uh, they become protein okay so option it is not 20 option 4 option 4 is the right answer okay so 20 amino acids are assembled to form the protein let's see the next question a very simple one and this we have seen in ssc various times okay acid rain is a mainly mixture of which of the following okay and uh, a very simple one as you know it is sulfuric acid and nitric acid so acid rain uh, when this acid uh, is basically find in that rain when it occurs okay uh, let's see the next question quickly study of fishes okay the scientific study of fishes is called what a very difficult one let us see who can give the answer quickly so we are running out of time let's see yes those who have given isythology they are correct it is called study of fish let's see the other one pedology is the study of soil dendrology is the study of trees whereas ophiology can you can anybody tell me yes it's study of snakes ophiology is the study of snakes okay so for this question option four is the correct answer quickly moving to the next question night blindness is caused due to which of the following uh, deficiency of vitamin okay a very simple one student all of us know that vitamin a due to deficiency of vitamin a night blindness occur where uh, person is not able to see the things uh, in, in very uh, less light okay so that is why it is called night blindness the other vitamin d as you know it is called rickets the definition the deficiency of vitamin d is called rickets e deficiency leads to the loss of fertility or fertility whereas vitamin k it is related to non blood clotting okay it is responsible for blood clotting so the deficiency will lead not to have blood clotting okay let's see the next question vitamin b complex consists of how many vitamin a very good question a very good question student uh, this we have seen in our daily life but we have never bothered about it vitamin b complex remember student it consists of eight vitamin what are those vitamin vitamin b1 b2 b3 b5 b6 b7 b9 and b12 okay 
so these are the vitamin this all these vitamin are called vitamin b complex okay so option 2 is the right answer let's see the next question the metal present in vitamin b12 is called what student if you know the scientific name you can easily answer this question vitamin b scientific name is cobla amin cobla amin okay so it is basically from the cobalt so option 2 is the right answer let's see the next question a very uh, nice question the extract of which plant leaf is believed to increase blood platelets count during dengue fever let us see who can give the answer no neem is not the correct answer any anything else yes papaya so papaya is uh, the food uh, which can increase the blood platelets so option 3 is the right answer quickly moving to the next question it is from the virus uh, so human t cell leukemia virus hltv3 is also known to cause what of the following student as you know the leukemia is also called blood cancer so remember it is blood cancer leukemia virus uh, can cause blood cancer whereas if you consider aids it is human immunodeficiency virus hiv whereas hemorrhage is uh, this uh, you can say it is a, a breakdown of the nerves in the brain so it is called cerebral hemorrhage whereas hepatitis it is also called jaundice okay and uh, it is caused by hepatitis virus okay so option 1 is the correct answer let's see the next question anemia occurs due to the lack of what student nowadays in india every women are suffering from anemia anemia okay student anemia is uh, the lack of iron okay it is due to the deficiency of iron okay if you go with iodine it is called goiter and if you go with calcium deficiency it is called osteoporosis okay osteoporosis so option 2 is the correct answer let's see the next question which of the following is considered as connecting link between living and non living thing as you know there is a host there is an agent okay so when uh, so this agent if we if it comes under host it will survive otherwise it will not survive and that is called virus okay virus is not uh, living independently but it needs a host to survive okay so option 1 is the correct answer let's see the next question what is the chemical name of vitamin b7 a very simple one as you know ascorbic acid is vitamin c okay and vitamin b7 is called biotin okay it is very good for hair okay so for this question biotin is the correct answer so those who have given biotin they are well and good they are doing great okay quickly moving to the next question retinol is the chemical name of which of the following as we have seen vitamin c is ascorbic acid vitamin d is calciferol vitamin a is called what retinol whereas vitamin b we have seen multiple names so for this question option 3 is the correct answer let's see the next question a very simple one very easy one energy yielding foods are what student as you know uh, if you eliminate one by one you can easily get so whenever you uh, eat some sugar that is nothing but carbohydrates so option should have carbohydrates so you can eliminate this mineral and vitamins they are uh, needed in very minute quantity and they are not uh, giving any energy so option 2 carbohydrate and fat is the correct answer okay let's see the next question which of the following is used uh, as a anticoagulant in blood transfusion what is anticoagulant which does not coagulate the blood coagulate means it does not uh, build clots in the blood during blood transfusion and remember so sodium citrate is widely used uh, during blood transfusion so option 1 those who have given well and good very nice uh, preparation let's see the next question 
a very simple one but a very difficult one at the same time which bacteria is responsible for formation of curd student we know it is lactobacillus but they have given two things option 2 and option 3 lactobacillus aureus and lactobacillus acidophilus student remember it is lactobacillus acidophilus uh, is responsible for formation of curd and those who have given it they are right well and good quickly moving to the next question deficiency of which of the following vitamin cause perineous anemia anemia we have seen it is due to lack of iron but this perineous uh, i mean anemia is caused due to vitamin b12 okay so vitamin b12 can cause perineous anemia that is little bit anemia okay so vitamin b12 is the correct answer i think uh, we are going to end this series uh, i think after two three questions i guess the first stable compound of nitrogen fixation is what a very simple one and your time starts now student as you know nitrogen fixation takes hydrogen oxygen and certain other elements some ions and it will produce hna3 so basically it is nothing but ammonia so ammonia is the correct answer let's see the next question which of the following species obtained from the roots let's see one by one synonym as you know it is taken from the bark of the tree whereas clove it is taken from the flower bud whereas turmeric it looks like to be root but it is stem it is modified stem basically so the answer for this question is none of these yes it is right none of these is the correct answer let's see the next question an offspring of female tiger and a male lion is called what student whenever you find this combination you go with the male first so it is li lion ka li and ger so it becomes liger okay so liger is the correct answer let's see the next question which element is found in protein student Uh, certain elements are very important very essential for our body and protein is one uh, thing where you can find a nitrogen okay small quantity of nitrogen is there uh, you have seen the atp and all those thing they are nothing but nitrogen and phosphorus combination so option 4 is the right answer let's see the next question the damaged ozone layer is situated in which of the following student you know it is first layer is top troposphere stratosphere then mesosphere then exosphere and ionosphere is above that so this ozone layer is in the stratosphere so stratosphere is the correct answer so those who have given option 3 were in good oh so we have covered 30 question quickly uh, without wasting your time and i hope uh, everybody is enjoying and if you are really enjoying you can ha have a subscribe button and share it with your friend those who are preparing for this particular exam okay so thank you for watching and if you have anything to say you can write in our comment box and you can also tell how uh, do you like this video if you like this video you can tell us uh, more so that we can also get motivated to make more videos okay so thank you for watching have a nice day